Sword Expedition 2018 release date, you've got more pull than ever. This newest interpretation of the Expedition by all accounts, is a huge upgrade from the dated styling of the old Expedition and moves the largest of the Ford subs up market almost undoubtedly. The largest Ford sub that comfortably seats 8, was once an afterthought in the Ford portfolio, but has been met with renewed energy and looks to more sharply compete with the Chevy Suburban slash GMC Yukon XLs of the world. The Expedition upon first release, was a huge player in the large sub-segment. Released in 1997, the Expedition was a huge sales success and its sales peaked in 2003 with the debut of the second generation of the sub, and sold over 180,000 units in the United States. Each year after sales started to slide with the biggest declines happening in 2008 and 2009. Take a short trip back in time and you can remember Ford was battling a recession and consumers were battling gas prices exceeding $4 slash gallon. Not the best environment, to sell a 12 miles per gallon city south. Fast forward to 2017. In January the average price of a gallon of gasoline in the United States was under $2 slash gallon and the US economy has made slow and steady progress out of the Great Recession. Not coincidentally Ford's refreshed and updated version of the third generation Expedition, that was released in 2007 has found its sales steadily increasing from a low 31,000 in 2009 to 2017 where it is on pace to have sales exceed 80,000 units again. Now that the market has seen the large sub make a comeback, Ford can justify spending the research and development dollars to develop an all-new generation of the large sub, for the first time, since 2007. Ford learned their lesson on the release of the 2007 Expedition, and while they can't predict the future of the economy, they can make an sub, that is more likely to appeal to smart consumers. So with that thinking, Ford developed the new Expedition out of a weight-saving aluminum body. This allows the Expedition, to cut in excess of 300 pounds from the 2017 version, while adding a host of features and technologies, that were never available, before on the south. They did this, while stretching the wheelbase of the Expedition 3 inches and the overall width and length has been increased by an inch. New technology found on the Expedition includes a host of driver assist technologies as well as in-car entertainment features. Cool items like a lane keeping system, adaptive cruise, driver assisted parking and blind spot monitoring, makes navigating the largest of the Ford subs a breeze. New dual entertainment screens are available in the rear of driver and passenger headrests, and can keep the second row passengers occupied. An all new dual pane sunroof lets plenty of natural sunlight into the cabin of the Expedition as well, 